Well, the agenda for next Rapids Parish School Board meeting was a surprise to several last night, as it includes a plan that would drastically change several schools in the district. The Better Facilities Strategic Plan was put forward by seven out of the nine members of the school board, as well as an RPSB administration. Elena Noakes and Bennett Rowland Jr. have what we know so far. The Rapids Parish School Board's Better Facilities Plan is essentially three parts. The first piece centers around Bolton High School. What is currently a 9th through 12th grade public high school would become a K through 12 academic and performing arts academy next school year. To do this, both Phoenix Magnet and Rapids Academy would be relocated to Bolton, along with teachers and support staff from those schools. And what we want to create is this innovative K-12 academic and performing arts magnet program that develops a, a very natural feeder, uh, similar to what you see in, in other parts of this state. At the high school under the plan, all students currently at Bolton would be allowed to stay but incoming freshmen would be required to meet certain academic and performing arts requirements. To put the move in perspective, of the 609 students currently zoned for Bolton next year, only 347 could qualify for Bolton Academy. That means Peabody Magnet High School would receive about 260 students from the current Bolton student body. Anytime that we make proposed changes as it relates to facilities or, or anything, we understand that it is tied directly to our academic goals as well as our operational goals. But the proposal has been met with tremendous backlash, especially from parents of Phoenix Magnet and Rapids Academy students. They've been trying to shut down Bolton for years, but this isn't the way to go about it. Is a K-12 through magnet school academic performing arts school a bad idea? No, not necessarily, but let's cast the vision so when we call the teachers, my child's teacher, and say, hey, what's the deal with the school? She can say, hey, this is going to be awesome. That's not what was done here. We feel blindsided, which leads us to wonder what else is under the table, what else is behind the door. It's a plan that has led many parents to question the transparency of the plan entirely. Uh, there has been no input from parents, from teachers, or from students at any of the schools thus far. And that's because there are larger implications than just the creation of a new academy. The plan would also close down Alma Redwine Elementary at the end of this school year, with those students moving to either Acadian Elementary or Martin Park Elementary. It also would see the eventual closure of Horseshoe Drive Elementary, likely in 2025, with students moving to Cherokee Elementary and Martin Park Elementary. And while the plan says all effective, certified, and tenured teachers and support staff will be offered positions within the district, the proposal does not leave out the option of eliminating some positions. This affects the entire community. I mean, our staff, they're losing jobs. These people have put in decades of work, and everybody in this community should feel concerned for that. Um, I mean, is any teacher's job safe? But with so many questions and uncertainty, there is a divide over whether the changes would bring the district together. If anything, you know, we've talked about being better together since since I've been superintendent. And, and while some people may think that's just, just words, I mean, we, we, we build everything that we do on that. Or split it apart. We want to be better together. It seems like this was where we're better if we're left out. Reporting for News Channel 5, I'm Bennett Roland Jr. And I'm Alina Noakes. This plan is set to be presented at next Tuesday's school board meeting, and at that point, it could be voted on for approval or it could meet some changes or a delay.